Do you want the attention? What's wrong? You gonna sing Humpty Dumpty? We've been singing Humpty Dumpty all morning. So Grayson's been doing this really cute thing. We'll see if I can get it on camera. But lately he's been saying, hug. He'll come to me and he'll say, hug. And then he'll give me a hug. And it's really cute. Me hug. What? Me hug. What? Me hug. You want a hug? <laughs> I love you. So, um, good morning, everyone. We just had lunch, so I guess it's almost afternoon now. Grayson is about to get ready to go down for a nap. He was up at like 2 a.m. last night just talking to himself, rolling around. He wasn't crying, but like it was party time. It was weird. And so because he was up who knows how long last night, he is a little grumpy this morning. So hopefully he takes a good nap. I wanted to vlog a little bit today because if you go back a couple of videos, we talked about um, how Anthony was supposed to go to this ultra music festival for a bachelor party in Miami. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, it got canceled. Um, well, it, there was this whole dispute. You can watch my video about it. Basically, the um, concert got canceled but the concert was refusing to refund people um, and we had spent over five hundred dollars on these tickets and they were refusing to refund people they were only like the only option people had was to take a ticket for next year's event we didn't want another ticket this was a one-time thing because it was a bachelor party so <laughs> we had to fight it and we went through our credit card company we had to like show that we tried contacting ultra um we had to contact our bank uh several times we got several um letters and emails from them um finally at one point our bank did credit us the money however they said that the dispute had not been resolved and if they were not able to resolve it then they would be taking that money back well we just got a letter in the mail today this letter right here um i'm not gonna show you because it has like our address and stuff on it but we just got a letter today from our bank saying that they have resolved our dispute and we have won against ultra and so we have received the full money back uh, permanently so it was like five hundred and twenty five dollars that we got back from this credit card place or I mean from this ultra music festival and so we are so excited about that I just feel so good about it um, there were a lot of people who were thinking that no one was gonna get their money back because like you agreed to things when you bought the tickets. However, we're just feeling like we weren't getting what we paid for. And so we were gonna try to fight it. And I think a lot of people ended up just taking the tickets for next year because they didn't think they would win with their credit card companies. Um, and I'm so glad that we decided to try to fight it. So I wanted to give an update on here. I feel like sometimes I will talk about certain topics and then I won't ever um, come on and like say how we resolve them. Like I made a vlog about how our bathtub kept turning on and off all by itself, but then I never told you guys like the end of that. <laughs> um, so I'll tell you, I mean, Anthony's dad ended up coming, they fixed the bathtub and now it works again, so. But yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know we just got that letter today. I'm so pumped about it. Um, I'm hoping everybody else who fought it with their credit card companies is getting their money back as well. Um, and, you know, it just serves them right. Like, it's just a terrible thing that they did. I understand that they couldn't help coronavirus, but neither could we. So I'm just glad that we got it fixed and we got our money back. So if you... Our fighting ultra music festival this is good news for you i hope your credit card companies are able to get you your money back grayson is playing with his high chair he can now get up into his high chair all by himself um the other day i i was cooking and i turned around and he was just sitting in there just chilling waiting which is kind of scary because it's a far drop um he can also climb on these stools now by himself and that's also scary because I feel like these are even higher than the high chair. 
Um, oh look, he's gonna do it right now. He just, there's like a little step and he just steps right onto that and gets right up. Even though we've already had lunch, I don't know why he's climbing up there. Grayson, what do you do? Oh gosh, see, this is what happens when you have a boy. Hey, no, no, uh-uh. No, no, we need to get Grayson. <gasps> Grayson! Why are you getting out all the board games? You need to go night night. Great. Come on, let's get down. Jeez. This is what happens when you have a two-year-old boy. He's crazy. Also, we will have been living in this house for um, next month. Well, technically June, it'll be three years that we've been living here. Next month, May, we'll, we have, we'll have owned it for three years. And for three years, the whole time, we have had these stools. My mom got it for me like as a, either a housewarming gift or a birthday gift, I can't remember. Um, but we've been having some problems with them and I think they're just cheap quality. They're cheap. I mean, it's whatever, but like this stool, um, like it, it's totally out of whack. And a lot of these, you can remove the seat. It's supposed to be, um, like nailed down so it doesn't come off. And some of them don't like this one. It's on pretty good, but that one didn't. So I'm looking for new stools. I've heard that Wayfair has some cheap ones, so I need to go look at that. I've also been looking at cubbies on Amazon and then also rugs um, to make this playroom. We have toys everywhere and I just need them in one room. So if you have any suggestions on cute uh, rugs for play for kids like playroom, uh, let me know. If you have any stool recommendations, let me know and cubbies. Um, Amazon has some really good ones, so I think I'm gonna get one on Amazon, but I'm struggling with the rug. I've looked on Overstock, I've looked on Wayfair, Rugs USA. Um, I found one on Overstock that I kinda liked, so I might get that one. It's got kind of like a train track and you can like put cars along it and stuff, so I don't know. Just let me know if you have any suggestions. Is that your book? A is for... A is for... Orange. No. Apple. Yeah, apple. P is for... P. B is for... Balloon. Balloon. C is for cookie. C is for... I is for ice, ice, ice cream. cream. Yummy. Give me some juggler. Yeah, J is for juggler.